report Obama operatives bragged about grinding ranchers' face into gravel. First, evidence emerged that supposedly unbiased FBI agents had strong, hateful contempt for Donald Trump during his candidacy. Now, another bombshell report indicates that agents of the Obama-era Bureau of Land Management held similar malice and bias against Clive and Bundy's family, and broke the law with their actions against the conservative ranchers. The Bundy Ranch case dominated the headlines back in 2014, after a standoff over the use of grazing land developed between the rural family and the federal government. According to the Oregonian and the Wall Street Journal, the government's own investigator who was tasked with looking into how the standoff was handled has released a scathing memo of his findings, and it has extremely harsh words for BLM agents. The document accuses agents of far-reaching misconduct, recklessness and unrestrained antipathy toward the family, the Oregon newspaper reported. The memo comes from Larry Wooden, who had been the lead case agent and investigator for the U.S. Bureau of Land Management after the tense confrontation outside the Patriarch's Ranch near Bunkerville, the report continued. What Larry Wooden saw from within his own agency shocked him enough that he filed a complaint with the U.S. Attorney's Office and was promptly kicked off the investigation in what appears to be retaliation. The BLM wanted the investigator to ignore what he found, but Wooden kept pushing. He decided to be a whistleblower, and took his evidence even higher to the U.S. Department of Justice. In a scathing email outlining government abuses during the Bundy ordeal, Wooden described a widespread pattern of bad judgment, lack of discipline, incredible bias, unprofessionalism and misconduct, as well as likely policy, ethical and legal violations among senior and supervisory staff. The atmosphere was eerily similar to the anti-Trump hatred from unbiased FBI agents on the other side of the country. Wooden wrote that supervisory agents with the Bureau repeatedly mocked the defendants in an amateurish carnival atmosphere that resembled something out of middle school, displayed clear prejudice against the Bundys, their supporters and Mormons, the Oregonian reported. For example, agents allegedly altered booking photos of Clive and Bundy and other defendants to degrade and embarrass them, and used these apparently photoshopped images to insult the ranchers in an office presentation. Remember, these are sworn law enforcement officials, representing the American people and being paid with taxpayer money, openly mocking and slandering U.S. citizens who are guaranteed a presumption of innocence by the Constitution. According to Wooden, some federal officers bragged about roughing up Dave Bundy, grinding his face into the ground and Dave Bundy having little bits of gravel stuck in his face. Dave Bundy is one of Cliven's sons who was arrested in early 2014 after he videotaped men acting suspiciously near his family's ranch. Former investigator Wooden held nothing back in his criticism for how the entire operation was handled, calling it the most intrusive, oppressive large-scale and militaristic trespass cattle impound possible. Some of the information can only be described as sinister. Or even monstrous. Wooden said he learned from other agency supervisors that, Special Agent Dan, Love had a kill book as a trophy, in which he essentially bragged about getting three individuals in Utah to commit suicide, the Oregonian reported. This information was presented to the legal defense team for the Bundy family as well as Judge Gloria Navarro, who is presiding over the case. Judge Navarro recently sent the jury home as she considers whether to throw the entire case out or declare a mistrial in light of Wooden's evidence. When the Bundy Ranch story was unfolding several years ago, many people who protested the government's heavy-handed actions were labeled conspiracy theorists or anarchists. It's safe to say that a former lead investigator on the case is neither. More and more. It seems that phrases like the deep state and drain the swamp aren't exaggerations. They are disturbingly accurate, accurate, 